And Noe Elizondo, Toyota's honorary starter, ready to wave the green flag. And we're racing in Sonoma. Great jump right off the bat with Danny Hamlin. Christopher Bell almost got in there with him, taking a spot over Reddick. Off the racetrack here a little bit. You see Reddick fighting back really hard on the outside of Christopher Bell. Clint, I almost thought that maybe Hamlin and Reddick had something worked out. You see Reddick hits that inside curb and loses momentum. But I thought maybe they had worked something out on the start, a little give and take. Not the best start for Reddick for sure. Turn four, Gibbs and Truex side by side for four. Let me tell you this. Whoa, look really at them good. fan out here to seven. This is the four into seven that I was talking about. That's the first opportunity, a huge passing zone. Oh, there's an issue for Suarez. He he didn't get off turn four very good. And then was slow off seven. Looks like it's running again now. Starting to get it sorted out here up front. Off turn 10, and now this shoot into 11. The dive bomb area. Oh, you'll see this all day long. Yeah, you see all those guys went down to the bottom to block, and McDowell kind of thought about trying to make that outside work. If they stack up enough, you can go to the outside and maybe get beside one of those and get a row or two. So that was on an upshift. See, he was trying to shift in another gear, and that's exactly what he did. He was thinking going second to third across that gate, just exactly like Larry told you in that Xfinity race yesterday. That's what he did all day long. When he pushes that baby forward, she downfish, downshifts into first. Well, look at this. Ryan Priest, who won the ARCA race on Friday, to the inside of Bubba Wall. You talk about curb hopping. What, has he got a lift under that thing? But it just shows you how rigid those cars are. See how that wheel didn't fall out of the, uh, the wheel well whatsoever. Denny Hamlin's lap times have fallen off almost two seconds from his fastest lap on lap two, and Christopher Bell has caught him. Yeah, and I've, I've been watching Denny's lap times. It seemed like if he needed to, he could, could gap Christopher Bell out a little bit. But that last lap, he had a rough lap, and we get to lap 10, Clint. It makes me think about at some point in the run, your car slides, and you never get that grip back, and maybe Denny Hamlin's finally hit that point. Martin Truex taking the low line on Christopher Bell to take second place. Textbook pass, there's seven right there, just like we talked about passing zone. He'd been hounding his teammate Christopher Bell for a while. But how about Gibbs? Unbelievable. One, two, three. Yeah, and, and Denny Hamlin was able to get away from, from Christopher Bell right before uh, Truex got by him. Last time Denny Hamlin won stage one was Kansas, where he went on to win the race. Hamlin has led more laps today then Toyota led in total on road courses in 2022. Here he comes, crosses the line, and banks 10 championship points, and as Jamie pointed out, that one playoff point for winning the stage. These lappers are gonna be tricky for the leader. Denny Hamlin's leading, he has to make sure that he catches those lappers at the right spot, doesn't open the door up for Truex to pounce. Well, they're gonna catch him in the S's, and that's not the best spot. Here he comes, Here Truex comes to the Mike. inside. Hamlin slams the door and then goes wide. Yeah, and so, so perfect move by Truex right there. He had no intentions of getting beside Denny Hamlin. He showed him the nose, and the spotters are in a weird position right there. They can't see if he's there or not, so Truex kind of faked him out a little bit. And you see right now he's going to be in the preferred position because he's going to be in the inside of turn two. Right there. Quarter, bumper, clear, trying to cross you back here. Look at this. Still fighting hard on the outside, Denny Hamlin. This is exactly what I said. You can't afford to give these positions up. Blind rise at the top <laughs> of the hill <laughs> there, turn 3A, and Truex to the lead. Still have the problem with the lappers. And yeah, they haven't caught them yet. <laughs> They've passed each other twice. I'm watching this knot of cars, four cars here, third through seventh, and Michael McDowell trying to run them down the first board in the race. But these four have kept uh, pretty close company. Here comes McDowell. He's going to be there in a minute. Goes back to what you were saying, though, bandaging those runs. You see Chase Elliott, he really took off. Him and Christopher Bell took off and left Larson. Now all of a sudden, Larson's run them back down. His speed is in a long-run car, just like that car, Michael McDowell, right behind them. Look on the right of your screen at Zane Smith's pit stop. They roll a tire over to the wall from the right front, and it doesn't get caught. Gets an assist as the car pulls out of the pits. That goes out into a danger zone. Caution waves. 
The key is the next car around here, you're going to see is Ross Chastain. He was on pit road. Opportunity strikes here for some guys. Finally a caution, Jamie. Well, it's like Kyle Busch will be the leader from Joey Logano. Yeah, and the 11, you saw the front tire changer have an issue right there. It cost him some spots on pit road. The tire changer went down. And we're back to green. Kyle Busch on the break from Joey Logano, William Byron, and Ross Chastain. You know, Clint, I thought it was interesting that Kyle chose the inside there because I always wanted to be on the on the where Joey Logano is, being on the inside of the next corner if you could, could race him up the hill. But Kyle got a great restart and was able to get him cleared. Have to be so careful again if you're true X right there. You can see him back there, kind of a mid-pack. You know you have the fastest car. Be careful around these guys. Yeah, and if the, the one I'm watching those Ross Chastain, we know he has sticker tires. You see him right there beside Ricky Senos Jr. And look at the drive. Let's watch the drive that he's going to have off of turn seven. You see him right behind Joey Logano. Not anymore. A little bit of curb. Going to be three wide probably going into You're turn gonna eight. You're going to see it right but here. Look, That's look at the that. drive you were look talking about. Whoa. Oh, he got run off the racetrack. Yeah. And that Joey was, Logano shut the door on him. That was very unross like You normally you think he would have stayed in there, but I think he knows the position he's in. And we've talked about it. He needs to now try to get a good run off of turn 10 so he can do the dive bomb down into 11. He has to pounce on it immediately. Take advantage of those fresh tires, just like you said. Has to happen now. Out of turn 10. Down into 33 mile an hour turn 11. That's Truex to the inside. Corey in effect, you see him really stack up right in front of Truex. And you know, Mike, sometimes when you see the, the guys run into each other into turn 11, it's not intentional. It's that you're just trying to time that run out. And if the car in front of you doesn't time his out, then there that's when you see that contact. Here. You see you're riding along with Truex. I was going to say, there's a car on your outside. He slipped, locked the tires up. Now there's there's one on your inside. The door. Yes. I can tell you the worst thing to hear as a driver is three wide and you're in the middle. <laughs> and Big his side. first stage win at Sonoma. Bush across the line. Winner of stage two, Logano, Chastain, Byron, Stenhouse. Maybe it's, oh, oh. maybe it's all that shortcutting that's going on. <laughs> well, I'm not sure it was. Move that that, tire. That's not, not really the way you do that. Yeah, that I'm not sure it was that lap. Yeah. It's incredible, though, to see how tough the bodies are on these cars. You know, we, we talked about the lack of cautions today, and part of that is we used to see body rubs. When there was contact on the track, it would cut a tire down. Something like that with the old car, your day, you did pitted and had to come in to work on that. And I, I mean, looking at it, I don't even see any damage to his car right now. What about that? You see Joey Logano pull down and block Ross Chastain. Felt like he didn't get off turn 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 10 very good. Chastain, though, doing it the hard way around the outside. Unbelievable. I love that. You go ahead and block that thing off. I'm going to get to your <laughs> yeah. inside, and now I'm on the inside, and I'm going to try to push you out of the corner. This is going to get interesting when you get up to the top of the hill here. Well, and, uh, you there know, it is. Those two guys, same racer. They they rough people up, but when they get roughed up, Whoa, they don't get mad. Up. They don't whine about it. You see how you see Chastain get a little bit loose Absolutely. on the outside. Look look who's there to take uh, the opportunity and maybe get a two for one here with Truex. Trying to get that run off of turn 10, but just not there. But he wants that, that position. Chastain knows that he's got a good car and how aggressive he's being right here. Those tires being gone down there in 11 really opens the door up. You see Truex shoot down to the bottom, hook that bottom and away he goes. Whoa, and got one around, field. Austin Dillon. And this is a turn 11 at the exit. So yeah. he can get it fired up here. Yeah, I think they'll give him a second. He's out He's of the running way. running 17th. He's at the there he goes. To, he got uh, it fired up. At the entrance to Gilligan's Island there, the alternate pit road they used. I, how do you end day. up there, Mike? Like, I, that's, a, that's a really weird place to I'm going to get you a replay here soon. It's coming. You come around turn 11, you get hot on the gas, and the car rotates right, spins all the way that's around. Ex or you just do that. Yeah. Here he goes. Or, or you get some help oh. off the front bumper. Well, that can happen, too. Ty Gibbs. Oh, we should have stayed on Ty Gibbs for one more lap. We I, I want to see the entrance of 11 if we get a chance. I, I don't know if you'll be able to see that shot, but I think there's some Paul Harvey going on there. There's the rest what? of the story. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you asked because I was getting ready to. Your age, Mike, you should know that. Yes, I did. Here Austin we go. Dillon missed, got loose. See that? Trying to slip around. Yeah. That was just, that was not Ty Gibbs. Let me correct that. He kind of slid right in front of him. Ty Gibbs is trying, you heard him lift, trying to give him time. But let's talk about the opportunity and how well Kyle Busch and company in that eight car, last week's winner, took advantage of that opportunity to their good. <laughs> Hang on, Get boy. A little loose. A little loose off a of 10 there. 
But like I said, a huge net gain. I mean, they are literally a contender for the win now. That's exactly what I was saying. I saw him do oh, it. Oh, he's going for it right here. Ah, there he by himself, 15.2. Clear, clear. Whoa, a storyline. Uh, I can't say it. Denny Hamlin spun out on front, on the front stretch. Uh, bad, Gabe Hart. Yes, it is. Unbelievable. I didn't see what happened. I looked up. I was talking to you, Mike, over your shoulder. Denny Hamlin's backwards. Just spun right at start finish. Yeah, but that you see yeah. the toe links broke on the back of that car. I don't know about everybody at home, Clint, but you just gave me a heart attack. Man, I'll tell you what. I couldn't believe it. So let's see what happens. See, he's already up against it. That kind of takes me back to turn well, 11. See the skin on the oh. tires? I think he may hit those tires off of 11, maybe. Or he could have had contact link? maybe on the exit of four. We're going to see. Yeah. There's, there's going to be more to this story. Coming off turn 12, he got up into the wall. Well, we found out what happened to Denny Hamlin. At, it was the inside wall at turn number 12. Watch the third car in line here. Yeah, he's falling along right behind William Byron. Just turned it in too sharp. Nails the inside wall, shoots him right out into the outside. And when he hits this outside wall, that's what broke the toe link with the right rear. I've seen that happen before. Chase Elliott has 12 laps on his. Tyler Reddick has 11. All right, let's talk about it. Elliott and Reddick, I mean, this is going to be short-lived. You're a sitting duck, I'm afraid. You need a caution quick. Through the Geico restart zone, and we're back to green. 15 to go. I like the call, though. You have to win. Let's go for it. Put the cards on the table. Well, the one thing we've seen of the drivers that had tires on, Clint, those first couple of laps is where it's really magnified, where you see that's the, that, that is the most of an advantage. What I want to see, don't let Truex get to that inside. He's already the inside of Reddick. Try to hold them up. Going to try to run and hide. Truex to the inside of Reddick. Truex in got to go mode, and so is Kyle Busch on the tires. Trying to hold two, pace cool. with the 19. Yeah, you did a good job. Oh, look Dive at the eight bomb. going to the inside. Got to go. Can't wait. Yeah, you can't, you can't let Truex get away if the eight's going to have any chance of being able to race him. Yeah, he knows. And what he can do is try to be good where you know Truex is going to try to set you up. Unfortunately, it's right here. Hold your left. You're just Even. not going to hold Number that guy here. off. Truex back Way to the lead. Fast. Kyle Busch closes up on the lead duo, but won't get a chance here. Alan Gustafson, that's a great call. He might lose one more spot here, but there's still a big gap right here. This is a game changer. Somebody just shot way out of the screen. Logano. Reddick's got a flat tire. Reddick. Flat left front tire. Yep. Well, there's a good chance that could bring out another caution because he's going to have to go all the way around the racetrack. There's nowhere else to get off. Long ways around from there. Missed pit road entry. Oh, he's going to go around. Wow. That's a pretty heads up move. I don't know. It, can you do that, Larry? I mean, he, he, did I it. don't know he, if you can do it or not. You, but he did. You do anything he did. That's right. But I, yeah. think, I think that was smart on his part. Extremely honest, smart. Honestly, I believe NASCAR is okay with what he just did there. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever can remember back somebody doing that, but that's a heads up play. Well, saved a caution flag, and it got him off track out of the way. So oh. going to caution another one in seven. And yep. that's one of those situations, guys, where you stay out, right? You're not on as good of tires. You're doing everything you can to hold those guys up. They get tired of it. It gets down to the end of the race. There's just, there's there's no give. It's all take. He was running six. Blaney. Oh, Almendinger slides in there. McDowell I think Almendinger in. was going to wreck if he didn't get out of the way right there. And you see a little He tried to cross effect. back over behind Almendinger, and McDowell got in the back of him. And Ryan's rough day continues. He's well, ready he went for the from six to twenty second. Now we're we're even worse than that. Well, when you spin out like that, your tires get hot. Then you have even less grip. And you oh, see right here again. Chase Briscoe turns him around right here and turn two. I'm on fire right now. Chase might oh. have had a little help from Daniel Suarez well, maybe too. So. But I'm going to tell you right now, there was flames coming out of my helmet inside that race car. And the gap pretty constant with Kyle Busch now at one point eight seconds. Oh, you see Kyle Dush. Kyle Busch runs a little wide on the exit of turn 10. He's doing all he can to not only try to catch Truex, but you see right there behind him, Eric Jones, who had that spin earlier. Through turn 12 and Martin Masters Sonoma, Martin Truex. For Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota gets his second win of the season. Oh yeah, brother. Oh yeah, I told you I was going to line it up. I felt bad for him. Good job, man. <laughs> I felt bad for him. I love him.
No, he didn't. <laughs> Great job, guys. Thank you, man. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.